Hey there friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I'm back with a new layout for Pink Fresh Studio. And I'm gonna start this layout with one of the new cut files that you can get over in the store. And it actually has the word times in that little banner piece, but I deleted that part because I wanna change up the title. And I have these funny, silly, goofy photos of my youngest daughter to scrap. And the collection that I'm using today is one of the new ones called Keeping It Real. And it is perfect for all those everyday silly moments that we all have, which, yeah, I think that this collection fits my family and most of my photos perfectly. So I was excited to use it. So what I thought I would do is go with a lot of yellow since her shirt in the photos is yellow. Um, I wanted to start with yellow and I'm going to use the the word that was cut out of the inside of the cut file trace it and then cut it out and I actually could have done this on my silhouette but I don't know why I didn't do that I had already closed the program on my computer before I decided to do this so I just traced it and cut it out with my scissors and you wouldn't even know the difference but what I thought I would do was place the yellow word back inside of the cut file so it has this nice white outline. Do lots of mixed media on the background behind it to add lots of color. So I'm gonna start with this sheet of white textured cardstock, and I'm gonna go ahead and coat all of it with clear gesso. And I use the Finnebear Art Basics clear gesso. It's nice and smooth and Sometimes when I do mixed media, I like to use textured cardstock, especially when I'm going to use ink pads like this, because you can really see the texture of the cardstock show through the color, and I just I love the texture. So I'm going to use some of the mini ink cubes from Pink Fresh Studio to kind of make a rainbow stripey area behind where the cut file is going to go. And I'm going to use six colors here, and I'm just scraping the actual ink pad right across the page. And I love this effect. I'm using the following colors in order. Passion Fruit, Sweet Mustard, Aquamarine, Slumber, Ocean Breeze, and Candy Violet. And since I used the gesso first, this is what happens when you add water to the ink. It sort of blurs it and kind of turns it into watercolor. And you're able to basically just let the colors kind of turn runny and they run and blend into each other and I love this effect now this most likely will not work if you don't use the gesso first because the gesso kind of acts as a barrier between the ink and the paper and so it gives you some time before it dries and you're able to activate it with water and I love this because it looks like it was left out in the rain and I've done this technique in the past with stamps and it turned out really really cool and so this time I just wanted to use stripes and so the best way to do that is just to scrape it right across your paper and go from there and so I've kind of got my background idea going here and I'm just gonna keep working on it I want to add some white acrylic paint um, I love this effect when the watercolor is still wet and you add white paint it kind of turns into this marbly swirl effect which is cool and I just love adding white splatters to anything that has color to it like this. I think it just gives a fun light effect. And uh, I just use the brush to kind of blend some of it in. And yeah, I'm going to keep working on it. Um, I'm not quite sure what embellishments I'm going to use yet or where they're going to go. I just know that the crazy is going to go kind of in the middle. And I'm going to have one photo above it and one photo below it. And then I'm going to kind of use other things from this collection to build a longer title. And yeah, see how swirly and marbly the background looks? So I got it mostly dry. I love how that looks. I like how it softened up when it dried. I'm going to keep working on it. I put everything back and it kind of was a little too light. And the top color, some of these inks, for some reason, when they are activated with water on top of gesso, they change color slightly. And that very first reddish color, the passion fruit, 
when I added the water to it, it kind of turned more of like a, a pinkish color. So I'm coming back in with some of the watercolors to darken that up. Same thing happened with the bottom color, that candy violet. It kind of turned into a light pink. I don't know if it's just the reaction with the gesso or what. Um, so I, I like to mix and match the products anyway. So, you know, I like adding the watercolor to the inks and just kind of seeing the different techniques and the different colors and, and the different ways they react. So yeah, I'm using some of the purple, a little bit of the red, just to kind of make those two colors a little bolder and to make them match some of the embellishments a little bit better. And I love how that looks. It looks messy. It looks crooked, but it's still, you still have that rainbow effect. And I didn't use a lot of yellow, if you notice that. And that is because I've got a lot of yellow in the title. I'm going to have a lot of yellow in the photos. So I wanted just a hint of yellow in the background, but mostly all the other colors showing up more. Now I'm going to very carefully in just a couple spots, add some glue to go ahead and glue the cut file down flat directly to the background and I want some of it to kind of curl up so I don't want the whole thing glued down just enough to hold it into place and uh, I want the word crazy to be straight um, everything else can be crooked but since that's the main element and it's got that little banner piece sticking out I want it to be straight now I'm gonna put the crazy word back right on top of the cut file but I want to pop it up so it has some dimension so I'm gonna cut some really thin strips of adhesive foam and this is just gonna lift the word off the page a little bit it's gonna create some shadowing and it's just going to kind of make it look like it's jumping off the page and um, I love this fine liner bottle I get asked about it quite a lot I know a lot of scrapbookers use it it's called the fine liner bottle and uh, you can get those at Hobby Lobby or on Amazon and the glue that I use the most in that bottle is the scotch tacky glue it's actually the only glue that I've ever used in this bottle it works great it doesn't clog things dry pretty quickly and it's awesome so Okay, I love how this is looking so far. I've got all the yellow and we're going to keep going. I'm going to let the background kind of sit for a second and then I'm going to go ahead and layer up some tissue paper behind my photos here. Um, I don't have any plans to add a bunch of other layers of anything like pattern paper or anything behind the photos. Um, but I do like to have something behind the photos and tissue paper is great because it gives it a little bit of a subtle effect and uh, I like the tissue paper because you can tear it, you can rip it, you can, um, you know, bunch it up, you can make it look as straight or as messy as you want. And of course I like it to look messy because that's just me and especially on a layout about craziness because, you know, it's got to be somewhat crazy. So I like how that's looking. Now I'm going to start to play around with some embellishments. Uh, this collection has die cuts. It has uh, actual die cuts of different things. And then it has another set of die cuts that are just flowers. And you can kind of see those over on the left. There's some chipboard stickers, some puffy stickers, some cardstock stickers, um, some enamel dots, all kinds of gorgeous, bright, fun things. So all of these little pieces have fun sayings on them, keeping it real. Uh, embrace the chaos, um, something about mood, big mood. Um, so it's like these fun, crazy, chaotic sentiments mixed with these beautiful soft florals, and I love that. So I am going to wind up using some flowers. I'm going to cut this little piece out of this pattern of paper that says real life because, yeah, I love scrapping real life moments and this was just a day that my child was in a silly goofy mood and I happened to get some good shots of her and it was just a day after school her hair was in a bun and it was falling out she still has her school t-shirt on and it had dirt on it and she actually has some dirt on her face because she plays hard let me tell you and I I just said I've got to take some pictures you're in this funny goofy mood so these are what I got and they're some of my favorite photos because that's just how she looks on a daily basis. Messy, dirty, because that's just what she likes to do. And so that's just her. And so um, this collection is perfect for that. So I'm trimming, I trimmed off some of the white borders around some of the flower die cuts so they wouldn't be as bold, I guess. Sometimes the white trim makes it stand out a little too much. 
And since I'm adding like that purple flower on the top photo, the part of the photo where I'm adding that is, is dark. Um, so I didn't want that white border around the flower to stand out as much. So that's why I trim that off. And sometimes I leave them on. It just depends on the layout and how I'm using it. Um, but I did that. Uh, I'm going to add in some thread. I've got some of the light blue color, some of the darker blue. Well, not dark, but that more of that sky blue color, the uh, slumber. So that's going to go there. And I like that big floral die cut on top of the Y. And at first I thought, should I use this one because of that big yellow flower? But I actually like it. Um, I love how that looks. So I thought that's going to stay there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start to glue things down very carefully. And I do like to overlap things on top of photos if there's room. And on these photos, I feel like there's a lot of empty space around her head. Like in the top photo, I've got that purple flower. I feel like it's it's okay. It's, it's not crowding her. It's not taking away from the photo. And it kind of looks like she's looking at it. The way she's got her head cocked and she's making that goofy grin kind of looks like she's looking at the flower. So I love when I can do things like that. Down at the bottom, another little cluster. I've got some yellow thread, a little heart die cut, a circle, some more flowers. And I'm trying to scatter all the colors all around the page. Sometimes I like to do tone on tone where I'll do, you know, all red things in the red section and then all purple things in the purple section. But Sometimes I scatter it all around and mix it all up. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, so what I'm thinking of next is once I get all of these die cuts down is how am I going to create more of the title? Because I didn't want the title just to be crazy. You know, I'm not calling my child crazy, although she acts crazy quite often. <laughs> but I want to add more. I want it to be a longer title. Um, and I want to mix and match. There are two sets of alphas in this collection. You get a small multicolor uh, puffy alpha set and then a larger, almost that teal green color. So, so pretty. So this is what I've got so far. All this is glued down. I love the texture. I love how everything is kind of dimensional popping off the page. I've got lots of texture going on and I want to kind of fold up some of the edges of the word crazy just to make it look a little curvy. Um, all right, so one of the words that I wanted to use is awesome because we get a whole set of puffy scripty words or phrases and awesome is on there. And so I thought I would kind of create a title with crazy awesome in it. And I liked this awesome. I like that it was blue and it's small, uh, but I wanted it to show up a little bit more. So I stuck a little piece of the tissue paper under it to make it stand out a little bit more. And it is going to overlap a little bit onto the photo. Um, so I decided to continue on with the title. I'm going to fill in that little empty space right there with the rest of my title. And I'm going to use those teal greenish color alphas. And my title is going to be I love this crazy awesome hot mess. Yeah, that just popped into my head because I call her a hot mess all the time because she is a hot little mess. So I thought, let's just make that the title. And I'm going to have to wedge the second S kind of underneath the Y. And it's going to be covered up a little bit, but it's okay because you can still see that it's there and you can still make out what it says. I hope. <laughs> I know that's a lot of words crammed together, but I just like how it worked. And so I went with it. Um, I'm going to add the I love this up at the top here. And this is the sheet of the multicolor mini alphas that I was talking about. And at first I tried to make I love this in all different colors. And it was just getting lost because I felt like it was just too many colors. So I keep playing around with it off camera and I wind up doing I in one color, love in another color, and this in a third color. And I think it stands out a little bit more. I fussy cut a couple of small flowers from another pattern paper and glued those down. And then I decided the, the, the whole rest of the layout was just too plain and too white. And I absolutely love this rainbow striped paper. And I wanted to kind of use that as a kind of a border not a straight border around all the edges, but kind of a border around two of the edges. So I get brave and I just hack off half the layout here. It's crooked. It's supposed to be crooked. I do the top 
and the left side yep it's crooked but I wanted it crooked because you know we're talking about a crazy hot mess here and trust me nothing around my house is straight everything <laughs> is crooked around here I think that's why I like messy scrapbooking because everything in, in my in my world is kind of crazy with these two silly kids of mine so it fits so I'm gonna kind of get that straight on the other two edges because I still want this to be a 12 by 12 square page um, so I'm gonna glue that down it keeps moving so I'm gonna make sure I keep it as straight as possible and I feel like this striped paper just really finishes the layout off it kind of takes away some of that empty white space but there's still plenty of white space left and I like that it's crooked um, I did distress the edges there I like the curl up of the edge or the corner there and I just think it looks cool um, I'm gonna add in a couple more small things this is a little sticker here to fill up that little empty space there it says love this the most and it's a light blue color and it was the perfect size to fit right there and then I'm gonna do my journaling down here at the bottom and I just thought I would that I would do it underneath the the purple area so I didn't want to cover up a lot of that with my black pen so uh, I do want my journaling to be straight so I always use my t-square ruler there to make sure that the lines are straight and I'm gonna use a black fine tip sharpie for that and I'm almost done the last thing I'm going to do is come back in with some of those watercolors and just add some splatters I'm going to add some of the red up at the top then some of the purple color down at the bottom and some um, yellow on the right but yeah just to kind of break up some of that white space but anyway that's it that's the final layout I think this turned out really cute and fun and messy and I just really like it it's it fits my photos I think and I like building a big title like this I like starting with one big word and like I said when you see this cut file in the store in that little banner piece it has the word times so you could totally do this cut file in a completely different way um, but yeah I just removed times and then kind of filled in the rest of it myself but I like how this turned out it was a lot of fun to make and I hope it gave you some ideas to try if you have those ink pads maybe use them on your background if you want to try some mixed media and I think it would be something fun to try if you never have so uh, I'm gonna link down below all of the things that I used so you can get your hands on them if you want uh, this is a great great collection and I can't wait to use it again so let me know uh, if you have any questions and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so so much for watching and I hope you have a great week